everyone. We are heading to the bins again. Yay! Um, except this time, I'm not with my sister-in-law. I'm with two of my older kids, Amelia and Ben. We're super excited. We've been planning this all summer. We're just going to go for like half a day. We're actually in line right now for the ferry. Um, and we should be there in about 15 to 20 minutes. What are you guys hoping to find there? Littlest pet shop. Littlest pet shops, toys, Ben? Nerf guns. Nerf guns, we'll see. And I'm gonna try not to source too much, but I'm gonna show you guys the bins. And uh, hopefully we can find some good treasures, we'll see. Regular car. Regular. Regular. All right, so here we are in the bins, and we're gonna go look through. I'm voicing over because it is so loud to dig through these bins and videotape at the same time. So this is a bin that has already been looked over. Um, I'm just seeing, I, we just got here, so I'm just kind of seeing what the remnants are. You can see that there are a ton of hangers <laughs> everywhere. Um, I'm looking for vintage pots and pans. I love vintage stuff. Uh, anything that I feel is of good quality. Um, you can see I just spotted that Pampered Chef stoneware uh, mug pan and, or I mean, I'm sorry, it's a, cupcake, you know, muffin, muffin pan. And I also spotted this, see the circle on the bottom, that is a vintage Revereware coffee pot. Now, I was not paying very close attention to that and I was gonna look it over before we left and I didn't and it's totally had a cracked handle, it's missing the insides of it. I'm looking right now for any, to see if there are any of the pieces left, but most likely everybody has gone through it and it's scattered throughout the whole store, so. Um, I did end up getting this. It is heavy, so it probably cost me a few bucks, but that's okay. Um, it is Pampered Chef. I can resell it if I want to, but I have been looking for one of those for a while. I like Pampered Chef stoneware. Um, it's really good quality. So I did grab that, and I'm going to look some more. I'm still kind of looking for the pieces to that coffee mug. I'm not really seeing a whole lot else, so I'm going to be moving on here to other things. Lots of plasticware lots of just kind of junk um, 
I'm not spending a ton of time going through this just because there's so many hangers and so many things, a lot of broken things. At our bins, we don't really have uh, the bins of glassware. Actually, I've never seen a bin with glassware. That was just a Star Wars lightsaber. Uh, there's some toys mixed in here, but it's probably toys that people have sold back. I really liked these um, melamine bowls. I thought they were really cute. They had cute little pineapples on them. But upon closer inspection, the melamine was, the painting on the inside was really cracked. And I don't want to use those if it's cracked and um, peeling off. I was going to get them, but I chose not to. I put them back. Uh, this was a, just a vintage leather keeper, but the zipper was totally broken on it, and it had a pretty stinky smell to it. Um, very old, like, leather smell, uh, which I love old leather, but I think it's like a men's, like, um, shaving kit or something. Uh, but I left that behind just because it was it was pretty pretty busted up, so, which is fine. I don't need to be looking at everything. So, again, I'm just still looking for anything that is vintage or that I think can bring me a profit. Um, and I did not find a ton of stuff in here. Look at the tire, so if somebody wants one. There is a lid, a Riviera Wear lid. And I can't remember, I don't think, I may have grabbed that. Um, I love Riviera Wear. I have a video out that um, talks about Riviera Wear and a uh, vintage haul that I got. So if you're interested, you can check that out in my video library and um, see what you think. That was just, those were a bunch of Lego, um, like Lego instruction manuals. I ended up leaving them behind um, just because I did a little research on them and they really don't bring a lot of profit and it's not, I don't want to waste my time on, on like $2 profit. So I did end up putting those back even though I started with them in my cart. This was just a cool little file cabinet, but it didn't really have a lot of character to it, so I, I left that behind as well. And look, more hangers. Lots and lots of hangers. If you ever need hangers, go to the bins. They're super cheap. Um, some sporting goods. This is all a mishmash of stuff. This is what they call housewares, uh, and I believe housewares are like 59 cents a pound. So not bad, but there was some vintage Tupperware there. But it was pretty worn, and you know how vintage Tupperware gets? The plastic kind of gets a little sticky and gross, so I, I left those behind. They would have to be in pretty darn good shape to get those. Uh, this was just a cool wooden, um, like a vase, and it had some painting on it, but it was pretty beat up and pretty worn. So, again, I left that behind, too. Um, I've, I've found some really cool things that I have decorated my house with, but... Um, not a ton. And look, more hangers. This was a really cool pan. It's uh, probably most likely aluminum, but it had this big long handle on it and it was heavy duty. Um, it had a mark on the bottom. It, so I, but I did, I left it behind because I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with this pan? And, and if I sold it on eBay, how much would I even ship it for? I mean, or how would I ship it? I'd have to find a pretty big box. And so I just wasn't in the mood to to be looking or figuring that out. This was a leather purse, um, but it had quite a bit of wear to it. So I left that behind. Oh, the strap was broken. I was, I actually was gonna get that, but the strap was totally busted on it. And I wasn't gonna try to take the time to fix that. And look, more hangers. So many, so many hangers. Um, and bobby pins, old fashioned bobby pins. I almost picked those up um, just cause they were cool, but. I didn't. I just wasn't in that big of a mood to, there's another melamine plate, but it was more modern. It's not vintage. Um, that life jacket probably could have sold for a few bucks on eBay, but again, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to find bigger profit items that aren't going to, um, that I don't have to spend a ton of time listing them for just a few bucks. So I'm really trying to find items that are going to bring me in a decent profit of at least 10 to 15 minimum, if not more. So I'm trying to be a lot more um, picky with what I'm grabbing and what I'm purchasing, even though it doesn't cost me very much. So again, here's another Revere Wear, and yes, I did get that. So yes, I did get the lid because the lid matches that pot. So I love my Revere Wear. And if you can get it at the bins for super cheap, uh, that's the best place to get it because then you're not spending very much and they do sell in if you sell them in sets 
uh, but you have to collect the set. It takes a little time to collect that set. And it takes space to store it, so. And it's pretty heavy to ship. So again, I'm just seeing a lot of junk today. It wasn't, it wasn't super productive. Um, another aluminum pan, nothing, nothing fancy, nothing big. So, um, this lady handed me this little brass floral thing, but it was pretty darn beat up. It was pretty, but it was, it was very beat up. Um, and it is awkward to, there was a little girl in the cart on the iPhone. There's a lot of kids in here that parents bring their kids in and they sit on the carts, in the carts and um, just stay on the iPhone. So it just depends on what your, what your goals are. So again, here we are in another bin um, that I'm searching for. And I found this cute backpack. I was thinking of giving that to my daughter, but the zipper was broken on it. So I left that behind. I did not get that. Um, but it was really pretty. And we were only there here for a few hours, so not a ton of time. But um, again, you can see I really wasn't having a ton of luck today, but this is pretty much what our bins looks like. It's just piles of, of junk. So we're all done at the Goodwill outlet. Uh, we were there for about three hours, and how do you guys think it went? Eh, not so good. It was fun. Eh, not so good. So as you saw in the beginning of the video when we first got there, it really wasn't busy. Like there were hardly anybody, any people there. And on the very back wall, they had a whole row of like toys that had probably been out probably since last night or yesterday. So I went ahead and sent the two older kids over to the wall there was nobody over there and I was gonna go through another row and then the kids came over about like 10 minutes later and they're like mom this guy's yelling at us and telling us we can't look at the toys and so I go over there with them because I know you know little kids are supposed to be accompanied by a parent which I totally get I wouldn't bring my little kids there at all and he just was like going off on them about how they shouldn't be digging in the bins and I was like I'm right here like I'm the parent I'm I'm with them it's and plus it, you have to be 15 and my son is 15 and my daughter's 11 and a half like there was literally no other people around except for this guy and he just threw a fit and um, went up to the manager and like told on us and it was just ridiculous and um, Made, he just made comments and he was like watching us like a hawk the whole time even though there were other kids there and there were other kids going through bins like all of, he, he just like I don't know why seemed to like uh, pick us out of everyone else but um, it, so that kind of made it like right from the get-go we were just kind of bummed and it made it hard to like look through stuff and but the kids did get a lot of toys and we were there you know for about three hours and I just kept Amelia with me pretty much the whole time and um, let her be my eyes and I kind of dug for her and you know we did we did fine but um, I think and then we had another incident where we were again through the same toy bin um, a guy came I mean he was some people are ruthless in there and this was one of those guys that just like run and he throws everything all over and um, Amelia and I were literally against like the back wall like in a corner just the two of us and he comes over and he's like just gets in front of us and he's like this is no place for kids and I'm like she's and she was not her hands were not even in the bin she was just standing next to me 
and I was like, I'm her parent, I'm right here. Like, and he's like, I would never bring my kids here. And I could just smacked her in the face by accident. And I'm like, maybe you should slow down. Like, is it really, are you really desperate to find the, you know, whatever action figure that you're looking for in the bottom of the bin that you're willing to hurt somebody over it? Like, so these are some of the stories that you hear and why a lot of people don't go. So we've decided we're just not gonna go anymore as I'm not I'm not gonna bring the kids anymore if I go um, it's just not worth it um, nothing in there is as good is good enough to deal with unhappy people and um, you know what I told the kids was it's more that these people aren't happy in their life so they they're looking to take it out on somebody else and it's we're just sad it's just really sad that um, people have to be mean they have to pick on other people so we weren't doing anything to bother anybody and uh, we just got picked on so we didn't stay very long uh, we did find some good stuff we'll do a haul video later but just thought I'd throw that in there just you know be nice to others and um, always always uh, think about that you know your surroundings and you, you have to be careful you never know what people are gonna do and what they're capable of so Anyway, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed and uh, hope you enjoy the few little clips that we added on and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. bye. Say bye, Ben. Bye. Bye.